Hey guys, so the thing is I'm an intermediate surfer. I've been surfing for maybe four or five years, tops, and then with the first two years I barely surfed like maybe twice or three times a year except on holidays here and there. And then in the last year, year and a half, I started surfing uh, a bit more. I live far away from the surf spots. I live uh, on the Dublin side, on the east side. So I have like two, two and a half, three hour drive to all the good consistent spots. So I don't get to surf that much, maybe two or three times a month. And uh, the progress is slow, but there's one thing that we all surfers want to do and that's uh, get barreled. Now, I didn't get barreled this time, but this was the first time I actually got the courage to go out on the barreling waves. Felt fairly confident that I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Felt fairly confident that I'm not gonna get injured, and uh, I didn't, it was fine. I got a couple of waves on a fairly big swell. I think it was uh, 8 to 11 feet and 16 seconds. There was a bit of a cross offshore wind that day, so that made the uh, the conditions for me are very, uh, a bit hard for the rest of the surfers to know how uh, to surf those waves. It wasn't a problem for them. The problem was that the takeoff, like at the pop-up, it was just that heavy wind on your face with the water splashing all over the place. So you couldn't actually see the pop-up, which like I had no problem doing on a small, like medium waves, like to six up to six feet chest high. But when it gets overhead and more, uh, and then you're jumping down that hole and uh, you, you can't see pretty much, uh, it got scary. So I, uh, I missed a couple of ways that I think I could have made. If, uh, I, would going, I, was, if I would be going next time, I, I think I would do much better. So, you know, it's a learning process. First time out on a big, big, big swell. I don't usually serve this sport when it's this big. Simply because it's so advanced, it's so much more powerful than some uh, other base that I surf where, when they are even more bigger than this day was. It wasn't as big as the forecast, it was still some sets that were in there were like humongous. Like you can feel once the wave rolls over you, you die dive it and then the wind kicks everything from that wave and it's just like, it's like you're in a storm, like in the eye of the storm. It's actually, it's amazing how much power there is on those waves. Uh, didn't experience anything so so far in my uh, surf career, surf life, whatever you want to call it. It was so much fun, so scary at the times as well, but it was fine. Like uh, it's a learning process. I don't think I'm gonna go on those big waves even if they come this year because uh, I'm not trained yet. I'm not there yet. I need to work on a couple more things, get a bit more uh, better with my pop up. I think my pop up is the worst. Uh, uh, worst of my skill set so i need to work on that and yeah. there's a couple of good waves that the other service squad that i uh, got a shot of uh, you've seen the first one the intro clip and uh, that was probably the best wave that i uh, happened to see uh, a couple of more from the other guys as well so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you soon